So I ran into a beginner's issue the other day in where my testing statements weren't being printed to the Unity console and I was racking my brain trying to find the solution. I watched a bunch of videos, read a lot of articles, tried some different code, fiddled around with the settings, and I finally found the solution which was so simple. Here's to hoping that this helps some other beginners trying to figure out why they can't print stuff to the Unity console. Here's my code quick, just so we're all on the same page. Uh, I don't want you to look at the actual contents of the code because I'm just a beginner, so a lot of these things I'm just testing out. First off, if you want to print to the console, the line of code needs to be in the start method. If I cut this print code and put it in the main mono behavior class, it's going to give me an error and it won't run. The error says method must have a return type. So let's put that back in the start method. Second, let's make sure the syntax is correct. You can print to the Unity console in two ways. First is using the debug.log method. So debug.log brackets, quotations with what you want to write. This is a test and then end it with a semicolon. The second way and the much easier way is to just use the print function, which I did down here. So that's print brackets and inside the quotes, what you want to write. I wrote, hey, welcome to my C sharp script and then end that with a semicolon. If we want to print to the console, let's save this and hop back into Unity. If you've made new changes, it's going to compile for a second. Next, let's make sure that our script is attached to a game object. I'm going to put it right on the main camera of the scene by clicking the script and dragging it into the hierarchy. Now let's hit play and everything should print to the console. Uh oh, it's still not printing. Now this was the problem I was experiencing. If you click into the console, you can see these three little tabs to the right hand side. I think by default, the only one enabled is the little I circle button, which means the error switch. It displays the number of errors in the console. The I triangle button next to it is the warning switch. It displays the number of warnings in the console. And the button to the left of that is the messages switch. It needs to be enabled in order to display messages in the console. This was my problem and it may be your problem too. So just click all of them to enable everything and you should see the messages that you wrote in the script for debug log and the print methods right in the console. See, this is a test and hey, welcome to my C-sharp script. I hope this helps.